Oh, hello. The entity known as Matt Cotton has been making cocktails since the year 2000, and I suppose it was inevitable that uh, with his discovery of the wonders of steampunk, that the two should coalesce, and out of that unholy union should arise Dr. Bertram Everidge, emergency cocktail doctor. Uh, his partner's insistence that she would not appear in any of the videos resulted in the creation of the dangerous yet camera shy Paramore. And along with the occasional guest, they've been making cocktail videos together ever since. The Ministry of Steampunk have been working very hard to provide us with an alternative to the usual Asylum Steampunk Festival and have come up with Sanctuary. Thank you for all your hard work. Now, what could be more magical than creating a fantastic cocktail? So without further ado, and with the addition of a lockdown beard, roll VT. Let's make a magic martini. A very splendid drink indeed, with a certain degree of razzmatazz to it. Very simple, only three ingredients. What you will require is vanilla vodka, grape juice, not grapefruit juice, grape juice, and candy floss, or as the Americans call it, cotton candy. Um, you can use uh, any flavour of this that you uh, that you want. Um, I've got uh, several different colours because it looks prettier. So take a cocktail glass or a uh, champagne goblet like this one here and get some of your candy floss and just pop it into the glass. I want a little bit of each colour. Just separate it out a little bit. I think I want some blue as well, because blue, blue looks good. You'd be unsurprised to hear that this makes a very sweet drink indeed. Next, take a cocktail shaker and pop some ice into it. And then into your shaker, you're going to put three shots of the grape juice, and two shots of your lovely vanilla vodka. Lovely. And, the typical stage showmanship, give it a darn good shake. Nice. Then, simply pour the drink over the candy floss, like so. Ta-da! Magic Martini. Yes, yes, you can do it as well. It's her favourite part. All I want is a liquor in my growler. Got to be average. Gad, my drink has evaporated. If only there was another recipe that we could make. Roll VT. We require, ladies and gentlemen, a truly magical cocktail to pep up our weekend 
and add a little bit of sparkle to it. Now, there's all kinds of flavoured syrups that you can buy out there, um, usually for use uh, to pep your coffees up. Um, I have found one called bubblegum syrup, bubblegum flavour, truly fantastic. So we're going to make a drink with that today. Uh, for this drink, you'll need bubblegum syrup, gin, yes, of course, gin, edible glitter, do make sure that it is the edible kind, please, and some lovely, lovely Prosecco. So, to make this drink, take half a shot of your bubblegum syrup and pop it into a champagne flute. Then, a shot of the lovely gin. Next, take a, a little bit of your edible glitter. I'm just going to use the end of a teaspoon here and just pop it in just a couple of dabs of it and it will sort of layer on top, a little bit like an oil slick, only somewhat prettier. And next, we need our Prosecco. Now, I would recommend you come in a little bit closer for this so you can get Good view. <gasps> Pop. Come closer, come closer. So, bottle glass, glass, bottle, bottle glass. And top up with the Prosecco. There we go. Ooh. Very nice indeed. Now, what this should do is the Prosecco, the bubbles in it, will make the, uh, the glitter move up and down like a kind of sparkly lava lamp type effect. Which is very, very pretty indeed. And there we have a fantastic magical drink, which requires a name suitable to its eldritch power. Now we've got bubbles in the Prosecco, bubble gum syrup, two lots of bubbles. So double bubble, and of course we've got gin. And because this drink was created by my dangerous yet camera shy paramour, we've got trouble as well. So double bubble, gin and trouble. I do recommend that you try this yourself. Average out. <laughs>